Email providers like Gmail are requiring application-specific passwords for added security with third-party devices. This includes using SMTP server settings on our dual outlet remote power IP switch so that you can receive email notifications based on different triggers. If needed, you may review our full email notification setup video first. Otherwise, keep watching to learn what you need to do on your Gmail account to get notifications working with your UIS 522B or 622B model switch. Start by logging into your Gmail account, go to the top right corner and click on your name icon. Click on Manage Your Google Account and a new window will open. Click Security on the left, refer to the Signing into Google section. At this point, you'll need to confirm you have two-step authentication enabled. If you do not, click on this and go through the prompts here to do so. Once the two-step authentication is complete, refer back to the Signing into Google section and click on App Passwords. You may need to verify your account before you can proceed, which is what we're doing now. Follow the prompts to proceed. Now that we're at the App Passwords page, we need to select an app first. In this case, we'll select Other and enter a name to identify it. Click the Generate button and a unique password will appear on the screen. Copy this for your reference. Next, we'll go to the IP switch page and click on the email page from the left. Take the password you just generated in Google and enter it in the password field here. Click the Apply button to the right to save the setting. At this time, we need to test the emails are able to send and receive. Enter your email in the Send a Test email field here and click Send Now. After a moment, click on the event log from the left. Set the event log type to All and you should see a notification entry that says the test email was sent. To further confirm this, we'll go back to the Gmail window and check that we received the email. This is what it should look like. Before we move on, we're going to go back to the IP switch page again and make sure our email is entered in the address book. There we go. Now we'll go to the current status page and manually turn an outlet off. You may also simply reset an outlet. This will trigger an email notification to be sent. Let's take a look. Here it is, with the name of the device, its addresses, and the event details. That's all there is to it. We hope you found this video helpful and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.